corruption hurts the society in many ways and it hurts like nothing else. It eats away the vitals that are so crucial for the socio-economic development of any nation, any society. And nowadays, the transnational dimensions of corruption has assumed such proportions that it endangers not only the present but also puts at risk all the developmental initiatives for the future as well. It is something which we need a very concerted and a combined effort to deal with and uh, it's no longer confined only to abuse of authority or to quid pro quo. In fact, corruption is assuming such huge dimensions that we need to fight it at all levels and everywhere. Central Bureau of Investigation is committed to fight corruption and we are committed to fight it uh, in all possible ways. Well, uh, that is taking a very limited view of corruption. Corruption is definitely linked with the financial crimes, but it moves further on. It endangers national security as well. Uh, the kind of the transnational criminals who are using corrupt practices to eat away the vitals, to stash dirty money away offshore, the kind of the stolen assets that they are accumulating, all these things, they have a serious impact on the national security as well. And on the global security too, I must say that. So it's not only linked to the financial crimes, it's much more serious than that. Financial crimes, of course, are a very important dimension of corruption, that's the offshore. And uh, too many people are now engaged in it. And that is why all the law enforcement agencies need to come together to fight this menace. The Global Focal Points Conference on Asset Recovery is our endeavor and India is going to be participating in it and engaging fruitfully with other nations in the committee and uh, that is precisely uh, for the purpose that we need to not only bring the perpetrators of the corruption and the crime to book but also to ensure that the assets which are stolen, the assets which are stashed away are now repatriated. People who have the legitimate ownership on those assets, they should gain back their ownership and not that it should be there to benefit criminals and corrupt. Uh, well, uh, India and Interpol have a very fruitful engagement. We have been cooperating with each other and uh, India values the relationship that it enjoys presently with Interpol but at the same time, our endeavor is that we want to take it to the next level, next higher level, so that the engagement of ours with the Interpol uh, fructifies into something meaningful. And it is not only the tools for investigation or gaining a platform for investigation, but to gain a composite view so that together we can fight this and together we can ensure Interpol and India together that we ensure that crime and corruption do not pay.